Yeah. What's up, guys? And welcome back to the MetaZoo video. Yeah, I said it right this time. Okay. This video, we're going to be doing some uh, theme deck reviews, I guess, and check them out and just see what's on the inside because I want to use them and play with them. All right, we're going to record like this today because my damn other camera is being a fucking weirdo. So let's, um, let's restart. Hopping Goblin, Goblinville Goblin. Yeah, got 10 of these guys. Are the Hopskinville Goblins. They all power off the Goblin King. We got a Boo Hag. Yeah, right? They scrape and then he puts shit to sleep. We got four of those, three of those. Then we got Bunny Man. Let me see if I put some blackness right here. We got Death Beam. Target BC destroyed, place a destroyed BC in the afterlife, and instead of Limbo or the cemetery after resolving this page, you can no longer contract light pages for the rest of this game. Got two of those, and we got two bogs. When bog is flipped face up, target attacking BC does not awaken at the start of the opponent's next turn. Necromancy, charge your limbo for a BC and shove it in your spell book, and then place a, a one, uh, Dark Aura and place a, B, a BC zombie token with 10 life points and 10 damage attack into the arena. Two of those. We got a bookmark, a blood ruby, chaos crystal, two night times, and a whole bunch of dark auras. And then the promo, of course. <clears throat> it came with the pack. We're gonna open all the packs at the end at the same time. Came with a little token. Can't really see it because this camera's trash compared to the other one, but there we go. Bam. Okay. And then we got Apple Minnesota Ap Iceman. Um, when using the arena, any page named Minnesota Iceman you control gains 10 life points and its attack gain 10 damage and all values of, I want to say freeze on pages you control are considered to be one higher. For instance, any freeze 2 becomes freeze 3. Slingshot Avalanche, t um, 20 damage. Slingshot Avalanche is plus 20 for every page named Minnesota Iceman. So you fucking get tired of all the other, all the other Icemen. Which there's a whole bunch in here. So, looks like he's going to get powered the fuck up, right? white thing. I need one of those. Damage dealt by, um, what's his name? Kushtaka. Kushtaka, it's a rat guy. It's double, um, it's doubled if target caster is under the age of 13, bitch. Kushtaka, no one, that's not gonna, you know, whatever, that's not gonna fight for anybody really, but. Does not have to be fatigued to enter this power. To activate this power, choose one attack on any BC in the arena. Shapeshift becomes the chosen attack, including damage effect and any of the strengths it has until the end of this turn. That's actually pretty cool. <laughs> He's a copycat. And we got a whole bunch of Minnesota Icemen. Target opposing page is um, afflicted with a freeze. One, and it does 15 damage. He's a two cost. One ice, one generic. We got G Bird. The GG Bird. That's what Devin is. GG Bird? Yeah, that's what my boy Devin is. Look at the bird he is. This is G Devin. <laughs> While GG Bird is in the arena, opposing casters must reveal a page from the chapter before targeting GG Bird with an attack. G Freeze. If a caster controls an opposing page in, com in combat or that is targeted by this attack, does not say GG. GG's, that's cold. Target opposing page in combat is selected with freeze too. That's funny. And there's four, five, four of those in there. 
We got White Thing. Like I said, I need one of those. <laughs> when you would take damage, you may fatigue White Thing and place the number of pages equal to the damage you would take divided by 10, rounded down from the top of your spellbook into the cemetery. If you reduce the damage, you would take to zero. Tire throw. 25 damage. And we got four white things. I ain't even got one. I mean, I got four now. But... You had one, but the dumb bitch don't like me. The had one? Yeah, that's how weird. She's... Right. Can't even have friends. This spell can be maybe contracted when any BC player can attack. Even if it's not your turn, you may select a new legal target for the attack. You may select a page controlled by the attacking caster or over the attacking caster as the target. I see path. We got two of those. Then we got two slows. Five slows, probably. No, only two. This spell may be contracted whenever a spell is contracted. Wait, what? Oh, oh okay. It's like a counter. Even if it's not your turn, place slow in the arena and then place a spell that was just contracted face up under slow. Do not resolve the effects of the spell. Place under slow. Then at the start of the active's next turn, resolve the effects of the spell. Place under slow. All aura paid to contract the spell still counts as having paid and send both slow and the spell that was resolved to the cemetery. Any page on any slow are not considered to be in the arena. It cannot be selected as a target. Bookmark. Eternal Snowflake and Chaos Crystal. Tap on focus. You're telling me, dude. A bunch of phosphors and some snowy. Like, I'm just throwing this away. It went away. It's got a bucket and I pull it up and look at it. Yeah, fix it. You ain't no fixing that. Yeah, you work with it, Devin. You can work with that one. Away. Devin doesn't want to roll back with guys. Another Mothman. Maybe I'll pull a Mothman. Then we got... I can't really see it in my damn self. You're like a fucking bomb of snowman with a fucking pickaxe. Let's move on to the next one, which is gonna be Salamander Queen. I can open it. These things are always a pain in the ass to open, dude. What's the knife on? Damn it, got it. Salamander Queen. While Salamander Queen is in the arena, all of the BC dinosaurs you gain control 10 life points and gain Cactus plus 25. Or Desert. The Salamander Queen is in the arena under your control. When you contract a spell, you may pay one fire and place a fire BC dinosaur token with 10 life points and 10 damage attack into the arena under your control. Combustive loyalty, 25 damage. Send X. Fire BCs you control the limbo deal 25 25 times damage to the original target that this BC declared an attack against. If this attack is used while they're pending, it has an additional it has no additional effect. Damn. Well, this card is pretty disgusting. It's like you're just sending all your little fucking salamanders out to be destroyed, and they all cost one. Charred trunk gains uh, plus 25 damage if there's a fallen tree with an eyesight. Or if a forest BC was placed in the limbo, the cemetery, or the afterlife within the last two turns. Then you have five of those. Yeah, fire elemental. 
Whoa, she's not wearing any shirt. She's not wearing a bra. Or a shirt. Um. She costs two fire. She's a BC elemental. She has first strike. I don't know what the other one is. Um. Target fire or a page you control becomes a BC with 30 life points, 30 damage attack. If not. It is no longer sitting in aura page. Place a chosen page into the afterlife at the end of this turn. Whist fire, 20 damage plus burn. I'm assuming. The char man. Um, five fire, 60 life points, 50 plus five on um, forest. The char man can only choose a four species, forest artifacts, and caches as the target of an attack. If it is, if an, an area is historically prone to forest. What? Fire wins does 100 damage. That's fucking retarded. You got two char, three charmans, four, five, four charmans. That's pretty fucking heavy cost there. As an additional cost of counter to the spell, you must send a fire beast you control to limbo. Deal 50 damage to target beast you artifact. This is a sacrifice deck. Same one. Fire, fire enchant. When fire enchant is contracted, target a BC and place fire enchant face up on chosen BC. The chosen BC's attack um, gain plus 10 damage. If attacks are considered to be fire, it attacks um, gain the following effect. Target opposing page in combat or the target of, of this attack is inflicted with burn. If the BC fire enchant is under, leaves the arena, um, place fire enchant in the cemetery. Just to burn them up and fuck them up. You have three of those and then fireball for one fire do a 25 damage target bc and cast her inflicted with fire or click click with burn one bookmark one um unending fire crystal chaos crystal desert flame ores isn't there one desert in here yeah that one desert <coughs> sort of thank you Definitely can't see this one. I can't even see this one. Let me see if this will help. Salamander Queen. She looks sort of janky, anyways. Where's the dumb dog in? Seems to be crashing the door. Trying to open the pack, as you can see. Stop, Luna. Wait, dog. Come on. Finally, I opened the fucking tab too. This one sucked. God. I'm gonna edit all that shit out. Hook Watch Captain. Lies in the arena, all BC's name. Hook Woodgy gained 10 life. Or what is his name? Hook Woodgy. Gained 10 life points, 10 attack. 
and all BCs name redemption barrage on BCs you control gain the following effect target of this attack or target opposing page in combat is afflicted with I don't know what that symbol is I think it's something some little mushroom looking thing cost 5 has 100 black points and 25 for attack for forest and his full volley Full volley gains 5 damage, plus 5 damage for every quill counter on pages you control. Target this, um, the target of this attack is inflicted with something, maybe poison too? I think it's poison. We got Puck Wedgies! This beast can only be attracted face down as a trap. When Puck Wedgies flip face up, place at quill counters where X is equal to number of force paid when it's flipped face up. And we got 6 of these. We got aggro pelter, three cost, trap, cost 40, um, has 40 life points, any tribal boost for every other beers, uh, fearsome BC critters, he gets uh, 10 life points, 10 attack. If aggro pelter slip faced up during its turn, splinter spear gains, or, yeah, gains 15 damage, you have two of those. Mantis man. One less if you're where con prey mantis are common. That's just fucking retarded. We got three cost, 70 life points, has 40 attack. Rope right, you may fatigue this, remove flight from target BC until the end of turn. He has nose nosing, nosing, nosing. I don't want to say nosing, maybe. No, but nosing it doesn't look like nosing, but 15 damage. Um, when warm, when warm, blah, 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 blah. when thorned whip is flipped face up, deal 25 damage to target BC artifact. Cost one, three of those. Razor leaf, steal and ship from Pokemon. Deal 25 damage to target caster if they control any water pages. Um, razor leaf does 50 damage instead. Bookmark, Forest Gods, Amber, Chaos Crystal, and two four. How come the other one only had one fucking desert in, but everything else had two? A little off, don't you think? Another Mothman pack. Hopefully, we pull Mothman. There's a puck wedgie. Last but not least, we have the Ding Bell. If I can open this one, damn it. species with dingbo in their name you control in your chapter gain something and something <laughs> plus 10 <laughs> i don't know what the fuck that is damn select so like up two species with dingbo in their name from your limbo or cemetery put them in your chapter in. big wrench big wrench deals to five damage for every spark counter in the arena on pages you control and he does 20 paralyzed Then we got a whole bunch of ding bells. Um, 10x. Place x part counters in ding bell. X is number um, of or x is equal to the aura cost. All electronic devices must be put into must be put out of eyesight while ding bells in the arena. If an electronic device is used, the caster he uses is dealt 50 damage each turn. It is used. Whoa. And they don't have multiple. You can't stack them. So it's that sort of trash. But For every spark counter on this page, place a um. Electric BC talking with 10 life points and 10 damage attacking the arena fatigue. This is actually sort of nasty. And I'm pretty sure you have eight of those. Then you have ball of lightning or ball lightning. Those are good. Terror bird. <clears throat> I pulled this card on the on the top box. Talon slash plus 25 damage and opposing page in combat has flight. Lightning bolts. 
Does 25 damage to target BC and is inflicted with, with um, sleep or paralyzed and flip for. You always get the head no matter what. So it's default. And then we got haste. The spell may contract it at any time outside of combat, even if it's not your turn. Target BC you control may immediately declare an attack. You must still fatigue them to declare an attack. Resolve combat as if they were your turn. Distraction. Bookmark, lightning glass, chaos crystal, lightning storm, and lightning auras. Alright, let's get into the packs and get this video over with. It's been 20 fucking minutes. Damn. Took Devin that long to roll that boy, yo. And then we have a dingbell coin, which is actually, I like this one. Can't really, there we go. It's trying to fall apart on me. Damn, and the packs he got were Hodags and Mothman. Let's get into these packs real quick. Mothman? Mothman? That pulled hella chaos crystals already. Not pulled one Mothman yet. Alright. Antidote. Ghost Deer. Water Gun. Snowflake. Dragon's Breath. Ability. Retribution. Bat Squatch. Reverse. Cool looking ocean. Because I need one more bat squatch, anyways. Um, Skeleton's Lanterns, Chiva Quetz, Quetz, Quetza, Ice Spell, Squonk, Blood Ruby, Full Hollow. Chibi Mothman, um, Gumbaroo, Matlocks, Sewer Alligator, Black Cat. Miracle Touch, Salem's Witch, and Forest God's Ember Full Hollow. I've been getting a lot of those, dude. The fucking artifacts. Oh, that was my turn. Yeah. Move my garbage can. Right on the side. Why are you moving my garbage can, dude? What are you doing here? Fuck out my shit, dog. Gosh. I'm about to beat you up, Devin. Do it. Oh, you don't think you want me to? River Dinos, Telekinesis, Black Cat, Ice Storm. If I don't get a Mothman, I'm beating Devin up. Bigfoot, Full Hollow. That's actually not that bad. Last pack. If I don't get that, if I don't get that Mothman, Devin's gonna get beat up, guys. I think Devin's praying for that Mothman. Necromancy, the Skeleton's Lantern, Infield Monster, Lightning in a Bottle. That's actually a good one. Retribution, Sewer Alligator. Guess what, guys? Devin's gonna get beat up. Alright, well, that is all. If you guys like the content, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Alright, done with that bullshit.